What is happening, my Block Buddies? This is Block Content. We are on the eve of the Video Game Awards. I am so excited about all that's gonna happen with those awards. Uh, I love Jeff Keighley, I love the Game Awards. I watch it every single year, and every time it's kind of a little bit different. Sometimes they skip a year, sometimes they do it really, really big with a giant crowd, sometimes it's a little bit smaller, but I enjoy the heck out of it, I love it. But right now, just on the eve before the Video Game Awards, it's in a few hours, we have something new about the Nintendo Switch. There's been just a tiny tease that I found online, which is just the tiniest bit of information, but it's still enough to warrant, hey, is this game coming to Switch? Is this game coming to the Nintendo Switch at launch? I don't know. Let's just read about this. So, CinemaBlend.com actually reports another Nintendo Switch launch title may have just been teased. Get the details. Okay, so we read on, all right? Are you guys ready? The Nintendo Switch is shaping up to be quite the system. While we still lack tons of details on the device, we are getting a lot of information about what could be launching with the system on day one. And another recent classic may have just been teased for the Nintendo Switch. So I don't really th think a lot of you guys know about this game because it's kind of a little bit of an obscure kind of indie game. Um, so over on the official Binding of Isaac website, the developers announced that Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus will be making its way to PC before 2016 is out and that it will be arriving on consoles in the spring of 2017. So you guys want to know the official quote that they just said? Because they didn't outright confirm it, right? They didn't, they didn't say anything about the Nintendo Switch, but listen to this quote. Quote, Expect Afterbirth Plus on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and one more console. Sorry, no PlayStation Vita or Wii U versions. Date? Spring 2017. All right, all right, all right. All right, end quote, right? So what, what they're saying essentially, right, is... It's coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and oh, something else. You know, the other console. But we already know what that console is going to be. Because if it's not the Wii U, it's not going to be the 3DS, right? It's not going to be the Nintendo 3DS. I, I, I don't think so. Actually, I seem to remember that a long time ago, it was actually said that the game was not coming to the 3DS, even though it was possible because it had all these weird, you know, themes going on that Nintendo just wasn't having in their game. So, yeah, what's this one more console that they speak of? Could it be the one and only Nintendo Switch? Well, it is mentioned that the PlayStation Vita and Wii U won't be on the table. So, what other console is there? Well, I mean, there's the Fuse F1 Chinese gaming console, and there's also the possibility of the Nintendo 3DS, even though The Binding of Isaac was previously rejected on the 3DS due to its religious themes. But later on, Nintendo manages to open the door for the game on the system, but would they really have to hide that the game is coming to the Nintendo 3DS again? So, I'm kind of torn about this fact, right? So they're saying PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and one other console. It was rumored to be on the 3DS and never got there, and then Nintendo said, okay, sure, leaving the door open. But that other console, they have to be talking about a console, right? They have to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. So uh, the more logical assumption that some people are making is that the Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth Plus will likely be a launch title for the Nintendo Switch, since Afterbirth Plus is launching in the spring of 2017, and the Switch is launching, of course, as we all know, in March of 2017, in the spring. So it makes a lot of sense. I think that making it a launch title would, you know, make sense considering the time. I don't really feel like this game is a full, you know, price of a game worth. Um, personally, I don't really think that this game has the, you know, triple A power or at least just the, you know, power to, to contain on this one disc to buy it in the store for $60. I don't think that's that's like that at all. Uh, it's not far-fetched idea that Nintendo system could receive one of the most popular indie games that came out in the last two generations for home consoles and PC. In fact, on Steam alone, the original Binding of Isaac has moved more than 3 million units, whereas the Binding of Isaac Rebirth has sold 1.6 million copies, according to Steam Spy. So, it would definitely benefit Nintendo to have a strong indie IP like the Binding of Isaac help lure gamers in with the launch of Nintendo Switch. 
That's not to mention that diversifying the launch lineup with a roguelike would be great, would be a great way to lure in gamers for games just outside the norm. I, I'm gonna say it again, this game, I've played it a little while, I think it feels like a Flash game, like a Newgrounds game, I think that uh, it's not, you know, deserving of a big spot in Nintendo's launch lineup, I think it's a very cool downloadable game, but other than that, you know, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I really, you know, I think it doesn't really fit with Nintendo's themes, I think it doesn't really fit with Nintendo's tone of voice, and I think it doesn't really fit with what we know about the Switch right now, um, and it feels very much like sort of an indie game that should stay an indie game and not definitely be a real release, uh, to me at least. You know, if I were to be making an indie game myself, I get it, you know, you want that game to come out like an actual game and be treated as such, of course, but for this particular game, it doesn't even have the themes that kind of would go with a Nintendo release, you know, with a Nintendo launch. So to me, it's kind of a weird thing where I think that if kids are picking up the Nintendo Switch in the stores and this would be one of the launch titles too, um, there would be a big chance that kids would be getting this game. And I don't think that's very appropriate. Um, again, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I'm not that big on the Binding of Isaac. I think, I think it feels like a Flash game. I think it's undeserving of a big spot in Nintendo's launch. Uh, and then, of course, they're saying right here, one thing that it won't have at launch is mod support, though. The developers mentioned that the game's mod support will arrive on the PC version first, before 2016 is out, and they'll investigate making tools available for the home console version of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus at a later date. But the game would not launch on consoles with integrated mod support. It would be pretty awesome if the Nintendo Switch supported mods, but that's assuming it's the mystery console that they plan on launching the new Binding of Isaac game on. Developer Edward McMillan will roll out the exact details and release dates for Afterbirth Plus in a few weeks. Until then, gamers can begin thinking up some mods they might like to work on, as well as whether or not the game will actually be a launch title for the Nintendo Switch next year. So. There you have it, you guys. This is some Nintendo Switch news right here. We might have a launch title again. So there are a lot of launch titles that are rumored right now, right? I don't think The Legend of Zelda is going to be one of them. I think we're going to hear uh, about the exact release date of uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Maybe tonight on the Game Awards, we might hear about that. I think a shoe-in for launch would be a Mario game. So maybe the Mario Kart port that we've heard about, you know, maybe it's a revamped game. But for sure, it could also just be the new Mario game, right? The new mainline Mario platformer. So to me, it could be anything right now. And I think the launch will also have a lot of great third-party support as well because Nintendo really needs it. And I think that thinking about, you know, what could a perfect Nintendo launch have is, of course, all the big franchises, right? We're not getting that at this time, but there are some ports rumored and we might even get a Splatoon, right? So Splatoon to me doesn't really feel like a launch game at all. It kind of feels like a game that you roll out a little bit later. Um, and it feels like that, you know, even seeing the trailer and the trailer for the Nintendo Switch Splatoon was, you know, featured so heavily in that trailer that I might think that it might be possible that it will be a launch title as well. But, you know, I don't really know anything more than that at this point. But still, it's very exciting to think about the possibilities of having this big multiplayer game available at launch of a new console. That'd be very cool. And still thinking about this, you know, if this were to launch in March, this console, and if it launches with, you know, either Binding of Isaac and games like the new Super Mario, you know, 3D World sequel or Galaxy sequel, that'd be amazing. We would have a launch game Mario game that we've heard almost nothing about in about four months. We would have a new Mario game in four months. I think that sounds ridiculous. I don't think that will actually end up happening, but we will get a new console in four months, right? A new console with new games that we've not heard about and that we will start hearing about in January. So then the release would be three months away, you know, maybe even less than three months away from that point. So to me, this is just crazy talking about the launch games of this system. We don't really know everything about the system still. The Nintendo Switch still is shrouded in mystery. And I was kind of wondering what you guys think would be the ultimate, you know, lineup. What do you guys think will be included in the lineup? Will it be the Binding of Isaac? Will that be included right there? Or will some other, you know, maybe third party game? What kind of indie games could be there? Just list for me. You guys, list for me your perfect launch lineup for Nintendo Switch 
and I'll read through the comments. I'll see what, what sticks out and use it in the next video. I'm very excited about the Nintendo Switch launch. I hope you guys are too. Anyway, this was Block Content reporting on Nintendo Switch news, and very soon the Game Awards will begin, so we are ready for more coverage because we hear that there might be an announcement regarding a certain The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Maybe some more footage, maybe a new trailer, maybe some story stuff. So are you guys ready for that? I know I am. So if you want to have more block content news, just hit the subscribe, just hit the subscribe, just hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much. That was my, my, my awesome remix, by the way. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch news.